hello everyone so we have been given this question in which uh, like we have three mos m1 m2 and m3 and two bjt's right q1 and q2 and the areas of emitter of the bjt are in ratio 1 is to m okay it's given here 1 is to m so and the m value is given as 10 okay now the question also states that that m1 m2 and m3 and m4 are all in saturation and q1 and q2 are in active region basically it states that all of the like uh, mos and bjt's are in like active region only right so it's also given that r1 and r2 and r3 are 1 kilo ohms 2 kilo ohms and 3 kilo ohms respectively and thermal voltage is 26 millivolts okay so what this question is asking us to find is find the current i0 i0 through this mos m3 and v0 for the given configuration right v0 is here so first what we need to observe is this like this three mos right as they are in saturation right so this mos will act as current mirror as the vgs for all of them are same okay so as uh, nothing is given about channel line modulation we will just ignore it so if some i current flows through here this i current will also flow through here and this i current will also flow through here so basically i naught equals to i right i is this i is this and this is i naught so if this i current is flowing through here and nothing about uh, like beta i has been mentioned so we will assume beta to be infinity so this i current flows through here also totally so through this resistor r1 we have this i current through this resistor r2 we have this i current okay now what we can do is we can write a cable equation across this the voltage across this uh, like emitter base section of this bjt1 right it is v eb1 okay and the voltage across the uh, emitter base section of this second bjt right is v eb2 so if i write the kvl right across this loop what will happen basically minus v eb1 minus i r1 plus i r2 plus uh, wait plus v eb2 equals to 0 right so what is the like base emi uh, like emitter base uh, voltage defined in a bjt right it acts as a, the emitter base action acts as a diode right so for in forward bias like diode what do we write as the current equation it's basically vt ln ic upon is right that's what we write in in like the emitter base junction basically ic equals to i in our case because beta is very very high okay so like uh, now what we can do is we can uh, like write this equation up here and also one thing we also know that is this is the like a reverse saturation current it is directly proportional to the emitter area right so in case of the transistor one is one is basically a one and is two is m times a one which is given so is one upon is two equals to one by m so let's go to the next page uh, now we can rewrite the equation like uh, basically what is the veb1 right veb1 is basically vt times ln i which is basically the ic upon is1 minus i we take the common r1 minus r2 plus vt ln i upon m times is1 equals to 0 so basically if we take it as i r2 minus r1 equals to vt ln m this will be the equation right so m in our case is given like uh, 10 right it is 10 so whatever this value comes up i should be equals to and r2 is 2 r1 is 1 so 26 by 1 basically 2 minus 1 ln 10 and this is in micro okay we are calculating in microamps 
so this will basically the uh, be the current so which is also the i not so i not equals to 26 ln 10 microamps okay now let's find the output voltage mm. what is the output voltage the output voltage is basically v o of t is equal to v d d minus i into r3 so i we have already found out r3 is basically 3 kilo ohms so v o is equals to 5 minus what is i i is basically 26 ln 10 this is in micro and we are multiplying this by kilo ohms right so if i divide this by 1000 so v naught will come out to be something like 4.82 volts okay so this will be the answer for this question